All right, my friends, Ruben Obed here, and I'm doing a test of my upgraded solar system. This is a this is a brand new battery. This is a this is a 210 reserve capacity uh, battery, which I have added onto the system. So now I'm running dual inverters. I'm running the 750 watt inverter, the 410 watt inverter, and I am running the entire house off of this solar system. All right, the entire house is running. I got the little fridge, I got the big fridge in the kitchen. That's one of the chargers. This one's already turned on, charging the batteries because I got things running. I got the solar, I got the solar panels here. And they're receiving charge right now. The batteries are full, topped off. You know, the whole house. I got the fans on. You know, I got the refrigerator on. I got this little TV on, that light on right there. Got the power plugs. The, the, that's the 410 watt inverter. The other one is the other inverter. I got the entire studio running. You know. I got everything running, the entire studio, all my little speaker system, the laptop, the little air conditioner, even this fan right here, it's all on solar, running everything on solar, alright, and the lighting over here, I'm running everything on solar right now, and system's been up really, really nicely. The only thing I'm not running on solar at the moment is the air. That one I have it connected to the house power because um, I don't, you know, I don't want to like overload my system. But everything's running on solar. My surveillance cameras are running are solar. My PlayStation is on and it's transmitting Netflix to that little TV there. So I'm running everything on solar, you know. Let me show y'all my, my, my system right there. I'm running right now. Got six deep cycle batteries for a total of 510 amp hours. I'm running an MPPT charge controller. Um, I got the solar panels on the roof. This is a separate little battery that I got running on the, off of this inverter. But that is only... Um, like for other little small things that I might want to run but right now I got the whole house running on solar that's my system right there all right those LED lights too and um, that's so that's that's the system guys that's what I'm running right now I'm running everything off solar totally off-grid totally off-grid this right here is an emergency thing that I that I put for the inverter let me pull that out right there it's an emergency latch so if you if anything happens any overload or anything I just disconnect that and everything gets powered off you know so I'll prevent an explosion but cables are nice and cool to the touch you know what I'm saying Got the kilowatt meter right there. It's putting in 120 volts, which is, you know. I think the only upgrade that I want to do now is I want actually want to get a bigger size inverter um, because I want to be able to run the air conditioner at the same time with the refrigerator. But right now that would kind of be pushing it, and I, I don't really want an issue like that. But um, yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm working on today, messing around with this with this power system and kind of like giving it a, a nice a nice test um these a lot of people don't know these batteries or like any batteries you know it could be deep cycle batteries it could be whatever they don't like being discharged for more than 50 percent anything if you discharge them more than 50 percent um you know they you can you can risk damage to the batteries so what you want to do is like regardless of what system you have I mean, unless you have lithium batteries, it things kind of like, you know, there's a little more leeway, but um, those are like super expensive. And, um, you know, I'm kind of scared of lithium batteries because they, 
I've heard they explode. But um, you know, but in terms of um, but in terms of like regular um lead acid batteries, they don't like being discharged more than fifty percent. So you know um, right now I'm running this system. If I were to if I were to run everything on solar, you know um let's say if I were to bring down the batteries to like sixty to seventy percent. I'm talking at least a good 16 hours. I have about a good 16 to 18 hours. If I were to um, discharge them to 100%, then I could have everything running for 24 hours. But I'm not going to do that because that would damage the battery. So right now, I only, you know, I, I, treat, I treat my batteries kindly. I only discharge them to 50%. And, um, you know, and, and at 50%, I get a good 12 hours. 12 to 14 hours of runtime before um, I have to recharge them. So, you know, and like right now at the same time, the solar panels are helping out. So it's like if I'm drawing current from here, but I got the solar panels giving me some more power, you know what I mean? So that, that extends it because if I were running just battery alone, the time would be a little bit less than that. But right now, man, a whole entire house running on solar it's doable you know uh, i'm not an electrician i'm just a diy guy and i've been building this up little by little and um it can be done at a fraction of the cost people are paying tons of money for solar photovoltaic systems and um and and, and that's fine i mean they you know a lot of a lot of those photovoltaic systems are like very superior but the, so is the price you know what I mean? So when you build it on your own, you learn how to mess with it. You learn how to deal with it. So, and you know, it'll help you out and it'll save you tons of money. Right now, the system that I have, if I were to have somebody build it for me, this is a good six, seven thousand dollar system, and I didn't pay that. <laughs> you know, I, I have invested at probably like maybe fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars around around there because I've done it on my own. So, well, once again, here it is. That's my power system, and it's running right now, running my entire house, running the studio, running the fridge, running the fans, everything, TV, running everything off of batteries. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you got any questions or any things, just let me know, write to me, and um, I'll explain to you like what I did here. Peace.